And my colleague Rita Cosby is taking over from here with a bit more discussion about Miss USA Tara Connor, something that's sparked a lot of passion between women talking about what she's all about. Absolutely, Alex. In fact, it's interesting. Her mother is reportedly saying in People Magazine that she saw her daughter drunk when she was 14 going to school, so we're going to talk about that in a lot more. I'm listening. And that's I'll for take sure. over the hour now, everybody. Hello, everybody. I'm Rita Cosby. Miss USA is out of rehab and talking exclusively to NBC about the demons that sent her there. The beauty queen confessed to NBC Matt Lauer on the Today Show this morning that she abused both alcohol and drugs. And when Matt Lauer pressed her to reveal more of what led her into rehab, she hinted at some abuse in her past. Has there been abuse of some kind in your background? I, I will not deny that I've, I've, you know, witnessed some abuse, but out of the respect of my family and I have not discussed it with them yet, you know, this is something that I need to but take one day at a time. It's too early in my recovery. Now Miss USA says she can help others face up to their addictions. But while everybody loves a story of sin and redemption, how much of a good role model can Miss USA really be? Joining us is Beck Schwartz. She's a VH1 commentator and has her own blog, PlanetBex.com. Bex, is she a good role model? It depends on what you mean by role model. Is she smoking hot? Sure. Has she done some <laughs> bad things? Okay, but whatever. She looks good in a swimsuit. Do we expect her to be like the model citizen of the world? What do you say? The former Miss USA says she has tarnished the image of Miss USA. Uh, that, look, even if it is the swimsuit and all this other stuff, they still are little girls who look up to her. What's your reaction to that, Bex? I mean, so they look up to her. Everyone makes mistakes. Like, people still look up to Lindsay Lohan, and she's in rehab right now. Bex, the day that Tara was sent to rehab, this is what she said to MSNBC over the phone about her addiction. I'm going to play some responses later, but this is what she said the day of that. I wouldn't say that I have a big drinking problem. I haven't touched alcohol in a while. Um, you know, I turned 21 yesterday, and all I had was Diet Coke, um, uh, Crystal Light with some tea, uh, you know, just, you know, just normal stuff, coffee, but... Regardless of the fact of anything, I, I'm willing to take any kind of offer that I'm willing to get, and I'm willing to take any kind of help that these people are willing to give me. Because, like I said earlier, any kind of free help that people are trying to give you to better you yourself as a person, I think everybody should have a chance. And here's what she said about addiction to Matt Lauer. You know, you have to accept that you are an alcoholic. and. It was very hard for me to come to that conclusion because then I didn't think that I had issues. I didn't think there was anything wrong with me. I thought, well, I'm going to be going to rehab, get some free therapy, which was the most ridiculous thing I could have possibly thought or said. But I had distorted thinking. It wasn't, it wasn't actually me thinking. Beck, does she seem sincere? I think she's sincere. I buy it. I think she's a girl from small town Kentucky who's kind of caught up in this crazy whirlwind of being famous. You know, I believe it. But one of the things, and this I was just talking about at the top of the hour, Bex, this really surprised me. My jaw dropped when I heard this, that her mother apparently admitted to People Magazine that she remembers Tara going to school drunk at age 14. Uh, Shocking. This, yeah, I, but come on, that her mother's actually saying this? I mean, doesn't that make you go, wait a minute, how many kids actually go to drunk, you know, that are they're drunk when they go to school? We're not talking about it at night. Well, how come her mom wasn't saying, hey, maybe you shouldn't go to school drunk when you're 14. Maybe you shouldn't be drinking at 14. Where were the parents in all of this? Well, that's a good question. In fact, let me bring in someone who I think would like to talk about that. Charmaine Yost is with the Family Research Council. Charmaine, where were the parents during all of this? Come on. Hey, Rita, good to join you. Well, you know, I thought it was really sad when I was reading the stories about this that the 14-year-old drunken episode coincided with her parents' divorce, and I think that's probably not coincidental. So I think it's interesting, too, that Tara is being upfront about the fact that both the drugs and the alcohol are a part of um, her way of dealing with difficult issues in her life. So I think that's what I, I for one, am glad to see her addressing that and um, not trying to gloss over the fact that this is a real problem in her life that she needs to deal with. Um, it's kind of a mixed bag. I mean, I, I do understand people who are calling for her resignation and think that uh, uh, Donald Trump has been too easy on her, but it is good to see her um, owning up to the problem. And, and it's important for her as a role model to own up to that and to say to young girls, look, this is not something that should be taken lightly. I did almost lose my crown over this. Um, and, and that you need to deal with it and take it very seriously. Do you think she is a role model? The former Miss USA, Absolutely. I don't know if you heard it, you know, Charlene, she's basically saying, you know what, this is an embarrassment. She shouldn't have the crown. 
Well, it is an embarrassment, and the, but what I am encouraged about, Rita, is that we are talking about her in the context of being a role model. We've gotten away from that in so many instances um, with uh, young women who become famous and get into the public eye of thinking they can just do anything, say anything, be anybody, and still maintain being famous. So even the fact that we're talking about her in the context of taking seriously the fact that she's a role model. I mean, if Miss USA isn't a role model, then there's really no point to it at all. Um, what do you say to Bex who said, look, you know, she's wearing a, a skimpy swimsuit, that's what it is. Well, sure, and uh, I, think th I think a lot of us have mixed feelings about that, so that's where we're kind of coming out and saying, look, um, if you're going to be in the, in the public eye as a young woman who has uh, some sort of title like Miss USA, then take seriously the fact that um, you should be a role model for young girls, and absolutely, uh, the drinking, the drugs, the promiscuity doesn't go along with that at all. Bex, what should her next move be? Well, you know, I'm really glad you asked that, Rita, because we're getting conflicting reports. Apparently this morning she said that she would not appear nude in Playboy, but I'm also hearing reports that maybe the nude is the part that's uh, under negotiation. Oh, that's so interesting. I hope, I hope, I really hope she'll take very, very seriously that uh, Playboy magazine is an exploitation of women and that I, I would be very disappointed to see her go that route. Let me bring in Bex, because uh, Bex, what's your reaction if she does decide? We were hearing that she's probably not going to do the Playboy, that it was like a partially nude thing and then she yeah. Fine to do it, but if it's back on tap, is that a smart move, Bex? Well, I heard that Trump called it that he wanted her to do Playboy light, that she wouldn't be fully nude, she'd just be on the cover. I mean, whatever. She's getting so much fame and publicity out of this. So what should she Keep do now? Keep the train now? going. Uh, I think the cover of Playboy is fine. She could be on the cover of a wholesome magazine like Seventeen. I think they could put her as an a extra wholesome? in a sitcom. <laughs> There's wholesome magazines like... No, like, they're not. I think they're horrible. Oh, come on. Jane Magazine, nothing oh, but wholesome. These, those, all of those. See, this is why I think it is relevant to have this conversation about what our culture is saying to young women, about what it takes to be um, to be a lady. And Jane Magazine, 17, they're, they're very, much, uh, very much of an exploitation, encouraging women towards experimentation. What's wrong with, with experimentation? With well, there's a, well, Tara is a pretty good example of what's wrong with experimentation. It can cost you a lot in your life, in your personal life, in your professional life, and that's what I like about this conversation and that let we're me, seeing. And you guys, let me give Bex the last word. Bex, you get, get 10 seconds. Last word. Uh, I think Tara Connor is awesome and that she should go on and continue to be a superstar. She should follow in Vanessa Williams' path, become a super huge, huge, huge music star, and then get lots of movies, and we'll all love her forever. And hopefully people learn from what she did wrong, and too. definitely both of you. learn. Bex and Charmaine, thank you both very thank much. You. Thank you. From here. our heated discussion.